VS Code is a great IDE. It's very flexible and can be used for basically all programming. The same goes with the build system Escons. It's friendly to beginners and also easy to start with. Today I show how to combine them perfectly, so VS Code and Escons are actually sharing the same information. Let's have a look at the problem that we're trying to solve. We see here that we have a simple program. Um, we have already created an sconstruct file and the main.scons file where we set up our build. So we want to build a simple program. The program is called my program and it uses the main.cpp and out of uh, the folder dependency, it uses the line.cpp. If we go to our console, we can build this program by just invoking scons. We see we invoke scons and then we see the build folder and we see that my program has been created, no compilation issues whatsoever. However, if I go inside my main.cpp, I see that IntelliSense, so the engine inside of um, Visual Studio Code, doesn't recognize the types that I'm using. This is because of the reason uh, of the direct include of line.h. So I'm not including dependency slash line.h, but directly line.h. This is possible because in the S construct file, I have declared that uh, the dependency folder shall be used as an include directory to build this uh, program. But IntelliSense doesn't know this and that's why it's complaining that line.t is a type that it has never heard of and I cannot really use it. So if I try to use some auto completion or something, it just says no suggestions whatsoever. So let's fix this. The main issue here is our C++ configuration that Visual Studio is used to parse and understand our code. The uh, configuration can usually be found here in this corner and it's called C C++ configuration. So we want to edit our configuration using the UI. If we scroll down in this mode, we can either do it by adding the include path, but that way we would just um, basically repeat what we have already written down in our S construct file. There's a better way to do it. If we go inside the advanced settings, we see that there is something called compile commands. The compile commands are a database of commands that need to be invoked in order to compile your code. This is basically the same for all of the IDEs and all of the build systems. So most of the build systems and IDEs today interact using this compile commands.json. If Visual Studio knows how to compile your code, which is in the compile commands, it will parse your code directly, correctly, and also enable you to use IntelliSense. However, we see that during our build, we didn't create, or Scons didn't create any compile commands.json for us. To fix it, we call open source to the rescue. So since Scons is very flexible, there are lots of open source packages available to extend on it. So it's based on Python. That's why we use pip to install a package which basically does that for us. So we call pip install and then the package name, which is in this case sconce compile db. So it's sconce minus compile db, which is for compile database and it should do the job for us. So we see that on my machine it's already installed. Um, on your machine probably it takes a little bit long. If we now go back to our main.scons file, we need to tell that it actually should output these compile commands. We do this by first including the um, scons compile db by using import scons compile db. And after that, we um, need to enable it for our environment that we create. So here we create the environment and after that we need to call sconce compile db dot enable env and then at the end, so between that we need to add our program and add all the stuff that we want to do and after that we need to actually create the compile database. 
So it's simple, we import it, then we enable it, and the last step is to output it. So let's save this file and run sconce again. So we run sconce and we see that it's now creating and updating a file that is called compile commands.json, which is exactly the file that we need to use. So we see it's here. And if we go here, we see that it has stored now two commands um, that are invoked during the compilation of our program. And we see, for instance, that it already has the build directories and the dependencies inside. So let's use this information in our configuration. We go again to our configuration by clicking this button and going then to the UI. And here we go again to the compile commands and can now use the compile commands file, which has just been created, which is located in my case, it's under tools, compile commands, cons, compile commands.json. Now we have added this. And if we go back to our main.cpp file, we see that the red squiggly line under these line.t or line underscore t is gone away. And we can actually use IntelliSense and use it to provide us suggestions, the auto completion, all the good stuff. It's all now working. The main benefit of doing it like this is that you only need to specify how your target is compiled once. And this is in your build system. So you specify it in your main.scons file. And this information is now reused by Visual Studio Code to understand your project. So no more inconsistencies between your project setup and Visual Studio Code. I hope you have learned something today and enjoyed the content. If so, please hit subscribe. And as always, enjoy coding.